Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty epic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today's shout out is absolutely epic. It is a earthquake simulator. It was created by Simulated Tinkering. As you can see, I've got a share link and I've got no. And in a moment, I'll show you how it works and how you can access it. Now, Simulated Tinkering put two days into the concept and then another whole day into decorating it. He is most proud of the concept because this is a pretty slick way to demonstrate STEM challenges. It is his first real design and as you can see, it turned out pretty darn awesome. Altogether, the project has about 1300 parts. So let's take a quick look at the notes. Right here, we need to make this building static by using Control M. We also need to click down here and make this static we have to make this static and then these are the towers this is a pre-made tower you can see it is pushed right over here it has a interesting interlocking system which is pretty nifty you can see this second one where they're just stacked on top of each other that is not recommended the idea is for you to make your own custom tower that is the same size but not grouped and see how it works real quickly let's spin around these awesome earthquake simulator buildings love those decorations and let me show you the hammer system so these are the hammers and you will be able to change the materials in the sim lab there is one on each side and then down here you've got the tray that'll actually move. So once again, you are changing the material to adjust the strength of the hammer. What a slick idea. So friends, I want you to be able to experience this as well. So you'll notice I went to my website, hlmodtech.com. I do want to remind you that right down here is a built-in messaging. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, you can click that button, add it, and reach me almost instantly. Now today we're gonna to go out here to the designer showcase and check it out friends among all the awesome users you can now find simulated tinkering now what does that mean it means you have access to the earthquake simulator of course when you get out here make sure you give it a reaction and then hit copy and tinker now i am gonna warn you it is a bit of a beast make sure you give it time to load completely you can see all these little red lines that is just it getting there mine has finished loading and this is what's so cool is you get an entire copy of this to play with remember we do need to make things static we need this building this building and this building to be static and then once again you can change the materials later friends let me show you what this looks like in the sim lab once again when you go to sim lab it is pretty big you do need to hit wait and give it time to load i have paused and kept recording i'm hitting it for the second time it does take a moment and after three of those waits it finally loaded and this is what it looks like in the sim lab now let's check the three parts notice this one already was static so the cool thing here is that simulated tinkering did that step for us. Right now they are made of plastic. Those are things you can adjust the materials of as you make yours different. And then finally, don't forget back here, we've got the view of the hammers. Right now these are set as steel. See how you can check that out. And those are the adjustments you can make. And friends, I'm going to spin around to the front and let's watch the Earthquake Sim in action. When you hit play, those hammers drop and boom, it shifts. This is proof that building cubes on top of cubes just utterly destroys it. And then also, these stacked ones still destroy it as well. But if you pause and back up, you can see which one really got destroyed first. So when those things hit, we can slide back and forth. That tower died instantly. This tower had a little bit of time before it totally fell. 
oh my gosh, what a cool idea for a project. So friends, the next step would be go back into the editor. Once again, you may get these unresponsive. Just always hit wait as you give it time to reload. Cannot stress enough, it takes a couple of waits. Or maybe three waits. All right, so we are back in the editor. And now it's time to build our own awesome tower. Notice we've got bricks we can start with. You could just make a custom one. I am going to tell you, you want to lock this. So that way if you accidentally grab it, it doesn't get grouped or added into anything. So I'm going to take this one brick and I'm going to do control D and I'm going to shift nudge and move it out here and then do F to fit view. I want to take my brick and I'm going to tell you that I want it five by 25 and I want to make sure the height is five as well. I'm going to set my nudge to five and I'm going to show you why I like this right now. When I do control D and one click, it moves the exact amount to be connected. Notice there are gaps on that one. So now I can grab this and then if I do control D control up, it gets to the exact right height. I can rotate it 90 degrees. Notice I go outside the circle is one degree. If you stay in the side, it goes 22 and a half. If you hold shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time. Now, if I do control D, check it out. It rotates and stacks all the way up in an instant. If I press F to fit view, boom, you can take a look at my sweet new tower. I'm gonna leave it at that height, but let's test it as well. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna place it out here on the platform. Now I want it the right height. So I'm gonna put the work plane on that platform. Notice that was the shortcut W, D to drop, and then I can shift nudge to move this out and give it a spot to break as well. All right, friends, with that placed, I am going to re-enter the motion sim. Don't forget we are gonna have to hit wait and be patient as it loads, maybe more than one time. Notice I am pausing and waiting for that to pop back, back up. And once again, after three waits, it did finally load. Let's get this to an angle where we can see it. Right now I'm doing shift, right click, drag. And then if we go down here to play, all of our materials are already set and we can watch the earthquake. And boom, the red tower dies. The other tower dies, and my tower with them connected, even though I cheated and made it shorter, stayed together. That might be an interesting strategy. So friends, once again, I'm going to tell you, you can pause, you can back up, you can check them out. You can see that building sway, but it does stay together. Don't forget you can also click on share and make a video out of your project or just take an image whatever you want. Friends, I'm gonna back out and I'm just gonna show you the other designs. Here is one with less shapes and that will probably run a little better. As you can see, this one is so cool. It's totally worth looking at, but there are a lot of awesome designs that you can check out from Simulated Tinkering. Finally, friends, of course, I gotta say thanks again to Simulated Tinkering. Oh my gosh, epic creation and thank you so much for sharing. Friends, just a reminder, if you follow one of my tutorials, like say the awesome F1 car, of course there will be a link up above and you make something super cool and wanna share it with me, it is so simple. Click that button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if that doesn't work for you, don't forget my website, hlmodtech.com. It has the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, you'll also find all of the categories of Tinkercad lessons I have, and below that, you'll find my day one lessons that are great if you're just starting to use Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up this project, I can't emphasize enough. Check out the designs of simulated tinkering once again, you can easily access them from the designer directory.
Of course, most importantly, I need to say thanks again to Simulated Tinkering for sharing this epic creation. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.